Hey, Minecraft Mentor here, and today we're going over the lightning rod from Immersive Engineering 1.20. Uh, we're gonna need four treated wood, steel scaffolding for those, a hammer, make sure you get the right scaffolding. There's another one that has like this top piece up here. Don't do that one. We need the one with the X, right? Uh, we need as many steel fences as you can possibly make. Uh, four HV accumulators, three high voltage coils, eight copper coil blocks, and light engineering blocks. To make this one, we're just going to come on over here. I'm going to build up the center with our three high voltage uh, coil blocks. Next, we're going to place down our HV accumulators down on the bottom. Steel scaffolding around the outside. There you go, your first layer. Congratulations. Next, we want to do our light engineering blocks right above our HV accumulators. Put in our treated wood fences, all four of those. Finally, the top layer is going to be your eight copper coils. Now this one, uh, you can click it on any one of these light engineering blocks and it should assemble. Look at that, it worked. Uh, we pull our power from our smiley faces right here or our, our plugs, I guess those are supposed to be. You can do that from any one of these sides. The lightning rod, uh, brain fart. The lightning rod holds 16 million, yes, million RF. And uh, to get that, we're going to come up to the top here. And this is where our steel fences come in. So we place those down. The farther up you go, the more likely you are to uh, have a lightning strike. We can't actually do that in this super flat, sandy world. So I think we're going to jump into another world just so we can actually show you guys how this works during a thunderstorm. All right, we've made it over to our normal vanilla seed, and I thought, you know, on top of a mountain is probably the best place to put this so we don't have to use as many steel fences to go up. And if you look here, we have a mesh net. Now, I didn't mention in that first little part before we skipped over that uh, the higher you go, the better, but also... The more places you spread out in order to have lightning strike is also going to be beneficial for this to work. So let's get ourselves a storm. We'll conjure that up in a second. See if we can get a lightning strike or catch a lightning strike hitting this thing and then uh, check how much power we have. There you have it. We got our natural lightning strike, which I should mention tridents do not work. So if you want to throw a trident here and conjure some electricity or summon it, it's just not going to work. Uh, sorry, I tried and I tried it in the test world and it didn't work. So dang it. Anyways, uh, we have our 16 million. Uh, you can just throw down an accumulator or any type of plug here. Maybe even if you'd like to pull power out, maybe using mechanism or something else, that might be even better because the more energy you draw out of this during the storm after a lightning strike hits, the quicker it's emptied out, the quicker it's going to get hit with another lightning and you can just... Kitty. Uh, <laughs> she threw me off. She threw me off. The quicker you get that electricity out, the more you can take advantage of, of the storm. But uh, if you do want to use accumulators to do that, just shift change that opposite side to input, and then it will start pulling out that 16 million, which you can use. Now, I did have one thought before we uh, end this tutorial is, sun's going down, uh, we better hurry. Um, I think I'm gonna build a second one of these and link it up to the exact same mesh network up here to see if a single lightning strike will power both of these with uh, you know, 16 million, or is it gonna do one, or is it gonna do none? We need to test that out just so you guys know. All right, we got our second one built and we emptied out this one. So they're both at zero forge energy. Let's get that thunder going. See if we can get another lightning strike here and see if it'll fill up both of these. No, no, uh, we might have to wait. 